Traveling to popular destinations for the holidays are feeling the effects of the federal government shutdown, including here in Northeast Florida. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning spoke with people visiting the nation's oldest city. It's one of the busiest times of year here. People come from all over to explore the historic city and get a look inside Castillo de San Marcos. But today, people showing up came to find the ticket booth shut down. There's a sign posted outside the fort in St. Augustine letting visitors know it's closed to the public because of the federal government shutdown. The notice coming as a surprise to some families hoping to get inside. Yeah, that was pretty disappointing, actually. We're coming across a lot of federal monuments closed. We went, we're up in Atlanta before and the Martin Luther King uh, uh, church. church was closed. It was disappointing. Is we this were... something that you were looking forward to see? Yeah, yeah, of course. We Absolutely. The There's a lot of history in this city. That's why we're here. Several national parks across the country remain closed today. Some are opened with limitations. In our area, Cumberland Island in southeast Georgia remains open, but there's no access to visitor services, facilities, or ferry services. Timucuan Preserve in Jacksonville is closed. In St. Johns County, Fort Matanzas is also closed, but the parking lots and boardwalks are still open. At Castillo de San Marcos, the fort is closed off to visitors, but the grounds are still accessible. We got to walk around it, so that's a plus, I guess. <laughs> what do you have to say about all this that's going on right now? It's nonsense, man. It's nonsense. <laughs> Forget about who's up in Washington. What about the people who are here and working that can't do their job? I just feel bad. People visiting these national parks aren't happy about it, but it's unclear at this point how long the shutdown is going to last. In St. Augustine, Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.